Hey Zoe, look at what I found. What? Our pictures from the last four years. Oh dear God. You spin my head right round, right round. When you go down, when you go down, down. You spin my head right round, right round. When you go down, when you go down, down. I got the house with my swagger, hop in that window, I got places to go. People to see time is precious, I look at my Cartier out of control. Just like my mind where I'm going, no women, no shorties, no nothing but clothes. No stopping at my Pirelli's on, unlike my jewelry that's always on. I know the storm is coming, my pockets keep telling me it's gonna shower. Call up my homies, it's on and popping the night cause it's meant to be hours. We keep a fadeaway shot cause we ballin' and spitting up Patron every hour. Look, mama, ow, you just like the flowers. Tell you the truth with all that goodies. Good morning, Sharks. I'm Ethan Whipple, and today is Monday, April 24th. Now on to the pledge, moment of silence, and then the desk with Sam and Zoe. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Good morning, Spanish River. River. I'm Sam Budner. And I'm Zoe Wood, and Sam is going to start us off. Sharks, remember this week our daily schedule changes. Today you will have first, third, fifth, and seventh periods. And then Tuesday you will have second, fourth, fifth, and sixth. As we head into testing season, also know your testing locations. Good luck to everyone. Students scheduled to take an AP or Cambridge exam in the PM session you will, be able, you will be dismissed from class at 10.55 to eat lunch so you can report to your testing location by 11.30 to ensure an on-time start for each exam. Questions about EP, reach out to Dr. Harrison. Questions about Cambridge, reach out to Ms. Gorin. All test takers, you must be prepared. You are prepared to be successful thanks to you and your teacher's preparation and support. Be sure to get a good night's sleep before each exam. Eat a healthy breakfast, wear layers as some areas are colder slash hotter than others. Be prepared with blue or black ink. No gel pens, you've got this. Now to dance team captains, Gabby Atman, Claire Kane, and Jules Sandler with dance team tryout info. Hi, I'm Gabby Atman. I'm Juliana Sandler. And I'm Claire Kane, and we're your 2023-2024 dance captains. Are you interested in joining the best team on campus? Dance team tryouts will be held August 22nd through the 24th from 2.50 to 5 p.m. in the theater. The fee to try out is $5, which can be paid on School Cash Online. In addition to this, we'll be also expanding our team by adding in a JV team along with our varsity team. And we will also be expanding the amount of spots. So make sure to come and try out. If you have any other questions, reach out to Ms. Collins or Ms. Dunn. Can't, Can't wait, wait to see, see you all there. there. First priority is having its last meeting of the year tomorrow, Tuesday, April 25th at 3 p.m. in Mr. Torres' room 8140. Attention seniors attending Palm Beach State College this fall. Do you need help registering for classes? PBSC will hold an orientation meeting at Spanish River tomorrow, Tuesday, April 25th, during both lunches in room 1152. Advisors will be here to help you choose and register for classes. Please visit the College Counseling Google Classroom to register. The code to join is ZFHBORC. 
This will allow advisors to review your application and recommend the best classes for you. Please see Ms. Riggle in, room, in the college room if you have any questions. Now back to Sam with this week's Counselor Tip of the Week. Is, it is important to get involved in your community. The life of a high school student can sometimes feel like living in a bubble. However, you, you will become more engaged in your own life the more you engage with your surrounding community. Not only does this volunteerism and add to resume, but it also has a, has a way of creating much happier students. Volunteering within your local and global community has been found to have major health benefits like lower blood pressure and a lo longer overall life. Not to mention, the good volunteers do for their fellow community members. Moreover, by getting involved by your community, you will have more opportunities to explore your interests, thus providing you with a better idea of which areas of case study you might want to pursue in college and in future career. You might even find that you start to get more interested in your classes, since you see the evidence of those lessons in your community and you can apply them to your academics to the world around you. Congratulations to our girls tennis team on regional championship over Boca High on Thursday. Leading on the way were Blanca, Delaney, Alina, Jessica, Sam, and Muscon. The girls head to the state champions championships next week. Good luck, girls! First Priority is a club that offers a safe environment for students to ask questions and learn more about Christianity, the Bible, and Jesus. We offer games with prizes, and it's a place where you can meet new people, have fun, and we also have free pizza. Hey, good morning, Spanish River. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. It was crazy. It was a lot of fun. First of all, a big shout out to the student body who went up to Grad Bash. Friday night, we had a wonderful time. You guys were extremely cooperative. You represented the school very well. And a lot of thank yous go out. You don't ever try and name them because you're going to forget something, somebody. But everybody who chipped in to make that happen, from checking people in to chaperoning, to taking care of the food and everything. Thank you so much. It was a great event for the seniors. I know they had a great time. Talking about great times, we have a lot of good things going on this week. Uh, first of all, I'm going to recap the entire week because I'm not going to be on any more this week. Uh, I'm taking the girls tennis team to Orlando for the state tennis tournament. Congratulations to Coach Jones and the girls. They travel tomorrow and they open up Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. versus Lake Noonan High School. So we wish them the best of luck. Also, let's see what else we got going on. We have three home softball games this week. Tomorrow night, we're hosting Olympic Heights. Wednesday, we're hosting Monarch. And Friday, we're hosting AIE out of Miami. So there's opportunities to get out and support the girls there. We have three baseball games. All are on the road at Olympic Heights, at Santa Lucia's, and at Lake Worth. So not in that order, but they're away all week. Girls. Beach Volleyball, good luck to Coach Brazil and the girls. They play their district tournament this week out at South County Regional Park. We play tomorrow afternoon, weather permitting, and hopefully in the championship game later on at the end of the week. Boys and girls track, they have their district meet this week against, it's being hosted at Park Vista. So all the athletes who've been training with Coach Babb and Coach Horn, we wish you the best of luck as you go forward. Boys Volleyball is in their practice week. They have districts next week, as does girls softball and girls baseball. So you guys have a great week. Make sure you stay aware of this testing schedule. Make sure you're getting all your work done. Athletes, remember your eligibility for sports in the fall is based on your grades now in the spring. So have a great week. Do well. Be great, Sharks, and wear your badge. Seniors! We want to feature everyone in the senior video, so send pics or video from any year. School appropriate, of course, to riverwsrh at gmail.com or see any WSRH senior to airdrop your pics. And now to a special senior goodbye from us. 
I can't believe this dreadful day has finally come. These past four years at Spanish River have truly been the best. First, I'd like to thank all my teachers I've had these past four years, especially junior year. I know it was super difficult. Miss McLeod, Citrus Fart will forever make me laugh. Miss Rothberg, thank you for being so kind and understanding these past two years. Even though math isn't my best subject and I don't really like it, you're still such a fun person to be around, which reflected on your teaching and especially on the class. Miss Bogosian, I'll forever love and miss you. Miss Riedel and Mr. Bryan, thank you for both being so understanding and kind-hearted. And of course, the GOAT, Miss Potts. Ever since you started working here at Spanish River sophomore year, my life changed and I'm going to miss all your stories about Puff Child and your leisure activities. Without a doubt, you're one of, my, one of the best teachers I've had here at Spanish River and I'm gonna miss you. I'd also like to shout out Miss Lavelle. You could totally accept me on Instagram now. Mr. Deacon, Miss Valley, Emma, Maya, and Maria, we were truly the dream team this year. I was so lucky to be working beside you guys this year, and even though we always cut it close to the deadline, we always made it work. Thank you guys. Miss Shanti, Mr. Marks, Mr. Heinrichs, thank you all for everything you have done for me and putting up with my nonsense and terrible grades. I look forward to coming to your class every single day, and my senior year wouldn't be the same without you three. And I know he doesn't work here, but thank you, Mr. Kaminer, for always helping me no matter what and being the best mentor and giving the best advice. And I know Mr. Gallon is no longer with us, but he, had the, he truly had the biggest heart and was the best teacher I think I've ever had. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have placed NHG not one, not two, but four years in a row. I'd also like to shout out the friends I've made here throughout Spanish River. You know who you are. I'll miss you all and I wish you the best of luck. I'd like to thank Ava Bernstein for being my girl this past year. I love you so much and thank you so much for being there for me no matter what. I seriously don't know what I'd do without you. My Rosenberg and Melina Cassell, love you girls and I know you guys are gonna do great things in life. Through all of our ups and downs, you three have seriously made these past few years the best. And my girl, Sammy Eisenberg, I am so glad we got close throughout the years. You are one of the realest people I know and there's nobody like you. You've stood by my side no matter what and I'm gonna miss you an incredible amount. Love you, Sammy. Over recent controversy over the past few days and all the comments I've been receiving about forgetting someone in my leadership speech, I decided he deserved his own speech. To the one person who stuck with me throughout high school, for the most part, Ethan Schwartz, <laughs> even after everything, you're still one of my favorite people on this planet and nobody gets me like you do. Ever since eighth grade, you have been my right hand. We grew up together. Even though you broke up with me last April Fool's Day after three and a half years, I'm so glad we rekindled and became friends again. I know you're going to accomplish great things in life and I'm so excited to watch you thrive at UF. You'll always have a special place in my heart. Love you so much no matter what. I'm gonna miss you. To my sister Sydney, I wish you the best of luck these next three years. Try your best and try hard and do your best. I know you'll do well. All the high school drama won't matter in five years. Don't let it stress you out. To my cousin Allie, you are going to be so successful in life and I'm gonna miss you next year. Finish this year strong and have a fun senior year next year. <laughs> Ricky, you have been the best WS, WSRH president this year and such an amazing friend to me. I remember when we first became friends in this, in this class sophomore year, when we were practically the only people at school. You have such a big heart and you are so caring. To know you is to love you. You put me on my most obsession and I'm gonna miss you so much and I'll always love you. But of course, Zoe, you have been the bestest friend anyone could ever ask for, and she's totally gonna ghost me when she goes to college, but it's fine. I'll live vicariously through your Instagram. This girl's wild and smelly. You have always been there for me no matter what. To Halloween Horror Nights, to you after my drive home from Tallahassee, you're so selfless and charismatic. You light up the room every time you walk in. Your energy radiates off of you, and you have such a contagious laugh. We always have the best time together. There's nobody else I'd rather laugh with during the announcements or any serious matter. If someone put Zoe and I in a blank room, we'd have the best time. You're my platonic soulmate, my best friend, my A push, A screen, AP gov, and AP macro tutor, which I'm not sure says a lot since I keep failing those tests. I know you're going to thrive in Wisconsin and make so many friends. I'm already so, je so jealous of how much fun you're gonna have. I love you forever, and this isn't gonna, this isn't a goodbye, this is a smell you later. <laughs> now, from now the best for last, Shelly Brewer! <laughs> Bruce, I seriously don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Being in your class these past four years made me realize that you're way more than a teacher in my life. You're my school mommy and my mentor, and I will be calling and texting you every time of the smallest inconvenience next year. You have made this class so, spe so special to me. I look forward to coming to class every day, even if I have to wake up earlier than usual. You'll forever be my favorite teacher. Winnie the Pooh once said, how lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. I love you so much, and I couldn't have asked for a better teacher these past four years. 
My high school experience has been epic, full of laughter, tears, screams, and more. And when they say it takes a village, it's the truth. There are so many people to thank for pushing me to the finish line. Miss Lehner, walking into your first period bio on the first day of freshman year gave me the confidence. And while I continue to confuse meiosis and mitosis, I love you. Turner, as your student and player, I will forever cherish our relationship, and I know you'll always be there for me. I really wish the AP exam was in person so I could have gotten my first five. Oh well. Your words speak volumes and you truly know how to put a smile on a patty girl's face. Miss Collins, thank you for introducing me to my love of history and supporting me on this journey. Miss McLeod, I apologize I scarred you last year, but at least you checked that one off your bucket list. I dreaded walking through your door for fear of what the board would say, but seeing your face each day made me smile. Miss Sullivan, Thank you for the knowledge you've shared and inspiring me with your passion for learning that has no end. Ms. Pagosian, you put a smile on my face every day and your energy radiated throughout the classroom. I will always love you. Mr. Bryan, I loved your fishing shirts every Friday. Ms. Potts, my favorite teacher, I'll always remember tears from the laughter each day in your class and our road trip to Tally. I will never forget having to pump the car tire full of gas and participating in NHD. Ms. Shanti, even though I talk a lot in your class, I love you so, so much and couldn't ask for a better English teacher. You've played an integral part in making my senior year amazing and I will forever cherish our relationship. Mr. Marks, thank you for enriching my mind with information about the US government and I'll never forget, CH10 stands for Chapter 10. <laughs> Heinrichs, you've made learning economics fun and I thank you. Ms. Brewer, they say good teachers don't just teach about reading textbooks, they light up your imagination. They teach you anything is possible if you have passion. Thank you for being my security blanket away from home, countless hugs and being there to listen and take care of me. These last four years have built the most amazing friendship and I think you know me better than I know myself. You are my mother away from home and I always rely on your opinions and most importantly, your grammar help. When you visit Ethan, please come visit me in Wisco because it's not too far from Chicago. Mr. Solid, thank you for always being there to support me and cheer me on. Ms. Castellano, we've taken this journey starting at River together, and while I'm moving on, you will always be with me. Your devotion to this school and relationship with its students is the kind that makes movies. I love you. To my Swifties, Paige, Lexi, Stevie, and Jolie, they say people come into your life for a reason, season, or a lifetime, and you're stuck with me forever. You are my ride or dies, memories minted in my mind, I'll carry on this journey, and you have taught me how to be a good friend through thick and thin. Who would have thought five silly little freshmen would have made the most perfect group of girls who are tied together for eternity? I cherish every second we spend together because for the first time in my life, I'm surrounded by people who truly get me, all the ins and outs. I don't know how I'm going to survive without you guys next year. I'll miss you, but make room for college visits. Melina, thank you for always being a great friend and being my constant source of laughter. Even though I low-key abuse you, it's out of love. <laughs> Sam, there are no words that do justice to our friendship. You are a sister from another mister, the person that finishes my sentences, and the calm when I'm in a storm. From our spontaneous adventures to our Zoomathon study sessions, I'm grateful for our friendship. There's not a single other person I would want to binge the summer I turned pretty until four in the morning or geek out about Harry Potter. You're totally a slipper puff, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think anyone believe, would believe that we were estranged during our sophomore year because of how <laughs> close we are now. Thank God for the, for the five classes we had together last year. I love you. <laughs> to Gabby and the dance team, keep on keeping on and leave everything out on the floor. And to my fellow Sharks graduating, congratulations. For future Shark graduates, those that we are passing the torch to, do us proud and remember <coughs> to live in the moment. To my family, I love you and thank you for the incredible life and opportunities and for always supporting me. Also, thank you to my number one supporter, Grandma B, who always watches the announcements. I love you. Now it's time for me to jump around. Go Badgers! <laughs> we'll see you never. Bye. Bye.